no matter when you are considering to put together your application, it is very important that you start preparing your personal statement or autobiographical materials right now. And it is very easy. You should have a blank sheet of paper at home in which you're continually mentioning all the interesting things that you've done in your life, whatever it may be, whether it be objective. For example, you won a chess award while you were in high school, or some academic prize, or you had some uh, special award that you won, or bursary, or scholarship. Any of these things you would write down on the paper. But you would also mention all kinds of things that are subjective. For example, when you were a kid, you were in the brownies and you helped somebody cross the street and it made you feel good. You would write that down. If at some point in your life you helped, uh, you reached out to somebody or you were volunteered in some group or the other, or you um, prepared a report that was outside of school, you demonstrated self-directed or self-initiated learning. You work in a group. All of these things are valuable tools. And they will be looking at this both in jobs, in professional schools. These are all valuable characteristics. So whether it be objective or subjective, you accumulate all these stories from different parts um, in your life all on these papers that you have on your desk and you set that aside. Then when the time comes that you must prepare your personal statement or other autobiographical materials, you go through the instructions that they provide. This will allow you to take from all that pool of information that you prepared, distill the information into its essential components and then you can list the achievements that you've had and then you can go into one or two things in greater detail. The other thing, of course, is your organization. This is a kind of written interview. And if it is not very well organized, that's going to work against you. So you have two choices. You either follow the uh, directions completely, and if they don't indicate exactly how you should organize yourself, then you can do it either chronologically or thematically. A chronological answer means that you start at some point in your life and you carry on to the present. So you're clearly organized. Some people start with an amusing or interesting story from childhood and then that characterizes their personality and then they move on towards things that they're doing now. In a thematic response, you would develop some sort of themes about your life. For example, there is a creative aspect to me, a social aspect, and an ac academic aspect. And then you would go into each one of those aspects of your life in greater detail. And that way you would be organized as well.